This is the Iron Trader. Now the pit's closed here at 2.30. That's about 40 minutes ago. So we are going to review crude oil here and natural gas. At the end of the video, the support and resistance levels will be posted. This video is for information purposes only. Not a recommendation to buy, sell any stock from the ETF. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. All right, here we have crude oil, your daily chart. Now, if you look at this chart here, okay, we had basically a bull flag uh, scenario, popped right out here, and then just kept on going down and down and down. Okay, so that war premium is coming right out of the whole situation. Looks like there might be a ceasefire, maybe some negotiations. I mean, who knows? Um, but here's what we have. Yesterday, we had a topping tail right here, okay? And that's basically the first sign. Now, when it opened up last night, it was holding that the 8 SMA here. So you could have had maybe, that's not a very good one, but maybe a possible uh, bull flag there if it came down. But now with this thing all the way down here, that pattern is completely negated. So what do we want to do? Now what we want to do on the downside is we want to look to this candle right here. Okay, so this is going to be key. This is 76.21. That is basically your sport. Now today, so far, it got down to 76.33. So that's 21 is holding. Now next in line here is going to be this candle right here. Okay, so you're looking at um, 75.31. We have uh, 75.21. And then your retest here is going to be where this price channel is, is 74.91. That is going to be the key, key level. Now, on the upside here, what we need to do is it needs to get right back above this 8 SMA here, okay? So you're looking at 77.46. Now, when the futures open here today at 6 o'clock, that is going to be a lot lower, okay? So always remember that. So what you want to do is you want to look at that 77.46. Uh, and then what you want to do is we want to look to yesterday's low okay so that is um uh, 77 79 and then we have your 78 17 here which is your 200 day now if it can get above then we look at today's high which is uh 78 77 and then we look at yesterday's high okay which was basically 79 77 and then we look to this candle here you're looking at 80 10 and then we come all the way up here to this 21 SMA here at 81.73, and then we have your 100-day at 82.03. Now, when the futures open up here at 6 p.m., you'll notice that this 8-day eight, eight will be lower here, and your 21-day will also be lower, okay? So that is the resistant levels as of right now, but uh, after 6 p.m., it'll be a little bit lower here. So what you want to do on the upside is watch this key 200 SMA here, this 8 SMA here, this 21-day, and this 100, okay? Those are very, very key. Again, if you can close above, well, your big target here is going to be your 85.51. A close above that, 89.85. That is going to be that candle right there. That's the target, okay? Now, on the downside here, you want to watch this candle right here. Very, very crucial. Uh, that's that 76.21. And then we can just follow these candles down here all the way to the retest there of 74.91. Now, if it comes out of 74.91 and it holds, that might be a good scalping opportunity here to go long. Now, if that 74.91 is lost, I'm going to show you right there on the weekly and the monthly where exactly it's going to go. All right, here we have the weekly and the old monthly chart. Now, you can see I've been pointing out this 8 SMA here. Okay, she's rolling over. If that crosses that 21 day and she's not looking too good so far, then that's not going to be that's going to be real big trouble. But so far for the week, okay, we got a couple of days left here. You have it inside uh, uh, a week so far, okay. This candle is inside the high and low of that candle there. All right. So if this right here, there's that 74.91. If that is lost here, then we want to do is come over to this 200 day here that's sitting at 73.26. Uh, that is going to be very very crucial again. And then if that is lost here. Well, what we do is here, we have support levels here all the way through these candles, but your target is going to be the 705. That is going to be very, very crucial. If that's lost, we come to this 50 SMA here, 78 or 68, 78, and then you could come down to this 6705, and then you could even come down to this retest here, uh, basically 63, uh, 64. But we don't know uh, exactly if that's going to be yet because you've got a lot of key support here, this 200 SMA here, and this 200 day. Very, very strong. You can see how it was right here, okay? Held really nice here. But again, I say if it's lost, 67.05 would be your first, uh, uh, your second target right after this here, this 50-day at 
Uh, and then you could possibly go on to the retest here. Now, when you look at here at your RSI here, well, that's hidden on the downside here. This is still in a bearish cross. Your green is below your red. Never, never good. Okay. So on the upside here, well, what we want to do is we want to watch this key 50 SMA here for the week. 78.20. That is very, very key. And then I say if you can get above that, then we have this 8 SMA right here. Okay. That's 78.57. Very, very key resistant level here. And then we can just work yourself right on up here. you got 79.77 on top of this candle here. You can work yourself here to this candle here. you got uh, 80. There's that 80.10. And then you can go to your 82.26 here and then possibly your 83.68. But this is just looking really, really ugly here. It uh, looks like it just wants to go lower. So it's going to need a catalyst here to uh, jump right on up here. All right. Let's take a look here and see what's going on with the old Natty Gas. All right. Natural gas, your daily and your weekly chart here. Okay, let me bigger up a little bit here. All right. Well, you know, it was working it. You got to figure it put in a lower low and then it put in a higher high, which is good. But right now what you got there is pretty much like an indecision candle. doesn't really know what to do. Okay, so your price is sitting at 3.17 here. Your key level on the downside is going to be this 8 SMA here. Okay, 3.14. Very, very key level there. Okay, if that's lost, Look to the bottom of yesterday's candle. That's sitting at 3.86. Look to the bottom of today's candle, 3.07 there. And then what we want to do is we want to look to this key 50 day, sitting at basically 3.029, say 3.03. That is basically going to be your key support. We got some sideways action here. Now, again, if that's lost, then we just follow these candles right on down here. You got 3.02, you got uh, 2.98. We can come down to this 50-day right here at 2.91. And then we have your retest here at 2.86. If it gets below that, we got the 100-day here, 2.84. You got this gap, 2.82 and 2.78. There's your fill. But right now, you've you got a nice series of, of uh, what am I doing here? Okay, you got a nice series here of uh, higher lows. Okay, so you had a low, you got a higher low, a higher low here, a higher low, and a higher low. Even if it came down to this 50-day, that's still a nice higher low here, okay? And that would be a good scalping opportunity, okay? So always look at that. But right now, on the downside, watch this key 8 SMA here. Very, very critical here, that and this 50 SMA. Now, on the upside, well, we got to watch this 21 day. You need to close above. Now, you got above here very nicely today, but you notice that it didn't close above. That's the key, okay? So you're looking at that 3.196. And then what we do is we just look at the top of these candles here. If you can get above, you're looking at 3.24. We have 3.26. And then today's high, 3.27. If you can get above that, we have here 3.29. You have uh, 3.40. There's your gap right here. 3.45. There's your fill. Gap fill. So uh, if you can close above this, your first target is going to be this big time uh, gap, the fill. And then we can ride these candles here, 3.52. 3.57, 3.560, 3.63, and then 3.64. Above that, we have the 200 SMA here sitting right there at uh, uh, 3.80, okay? So, but that's way ahead of yourself here. Key, key, key uh, 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 SMAs here to watch here. Downside, your 8, your 50. Upside, your 21. This is going to be very crucial here, and this here is going to be very crucial here at 3.18, okay? So if you watch these two, 3.18, this here is sitting at 3.19, you're very, very, very close. If you can close above that eight, close above this 21 day, then we can start ratcheting all the way up here to the gap, and possibly even a retest. Downside, this key eight SMA, 50 day, that's lost. We can work ourselves all the way down to here. All right, that's what I got for you today. Now, uh, I'll be back tomorrow morning here before eight o'clock. And we will review crude oil here and natural gas. Uh, remember, the uh, natural gas uh, EIA report will be out tomorrow at 1030. And the rig count will be out Friday at 1 p.m. Thanks for watching.